Over 4 million of us have become obsessed with Stacey Solomon's Instagram posts and tips from her book, Tap to Tidy. Well, today, in the first of a new series, Stacey is helping us all get organised, starting off in the bedroom. Like most people, life can be a little bit hectic and crazy at times, but I do find that there's something about tidying and organising that takes me to another place almost. And then as a result of that, I feel a little bit more organised in my own mind. My house is not some perfectly organised dream of a house all the time, it really isn't. I've got loads of kids, a few animals, a Joe's wash <laughs> to contend with, but I like to try and have moments of structure in my life. So it could be something as simple as making the bed. I think there's something about making a bed for me that just makes me feel like I've started my day properly. I will like roll out the quilt cover and stretch it across the bed and try and make it as even as I possibly can. For years, I was breaking nails just trying to tuck my bedding in because I don't like to do any ironing. Instead, I get my coat hanger and I just tuck the quilt in as tightly as it will go and as you're tucking it in just pull it across just do it all the way round until it is like the tightest duvet ever i love not being able to get into my bed at night <laughs> i love peeling up a corner getting in and it almost like hugging me to sleep joe this is not his favorite he doesn't make the bed because if he made it it would be how it started so when you get to the last edge all you've got to do is give it a good pull and the creases go away, and then get your hanger out again, and really tuck, and voila, quilt done. And if you want to pretend you live in a hotel, <laughs> then you can always add some little fake flowers. Sometimes it's just nice, isn't it, to get into bed and think, oh, <laughs> someone's put flowers out for me, even though I know it was me, and done. So obviously I do actually use the hangers for hanging stuff up as well. These are the wooden sort of style hangers that I'll use in my wardrobe. The only reason that I use these hangers is because they are quite bulky. It forces me to have space between my clothes. I like to organise my clothes in colour order. I know that sounds really sad, but when I wake up in the morning, I don't think, oh, I'm going to wear a dress or a skirt and top today. I always think, what colour am I going to be wearing? One of the easiest ways to declutter your wardrobe is to only keep the seasons in there that you're in. So at the moment, we're in spring, summer, so I would take out any really heavy winter stuff and just fold it up, put it inside the vacuum bag, stick your hoover on top of there, and suck. <laughs> This just is a lifesaver when you're trying to create more room for the stuff you're actually wearing. For me, doing little things every day is what helps me centre myself sometimes. That routine and that go-to structure is what keeps me sane, I suppose. <laughs> Woo oh my God, I actually wish I never did that. I only just made it. Thank you, Stacey. And you can watch that again on our YouTube channel if you want to go down, write down all the tips. And next week, Stacey's going to be telling us about her idea. This is how she stores her crisps. That is her snack cupboard. She hangs them up. OK, you might think that's crazy, but... Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.